Hey guys, bringing you a do-it-yourself computer video today. We have a Dell laptop we're working on, and we're going to show you how to install Windows 10 onto this laptop. Uh, Windows 10 is pretty easy. It's mostly automatic. Uh, if any of you have installed prior operating systems, you know that getting drivers manually is such a headache. Uh, but Windows 10 is pretty easy. A lot of that stuff is automatic, so shouldn't be that big a deal. Uh, just to double check real quick. This is the, U, uh, the install media that we're using here on this USB. I have made this USB myself, and the link will be below in the description on how to make your own install media for free uh, down below in the description. Um, also, if you have any questions through this process, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. Uh, save you some time. If you don't see your question there, definitely leave me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, usually at least a couple times a day. Uh, so to start with, we're going to put your USB into your computer. We're going to hit power. Start tapping on F12 right away. Okay, we'll zoom in here a little bit for you. Now this is the screen you want to get into here. This is going to choose where you boot from on your computer. Uh, so right now it's set to internal hard drive. We do not want to boot off the internal hard drive. We want to boot off the USB storage device that we just plugged in. So I'm going to arrow down to USB storage device and hit enter. So that's how you would select your USB storage device to boot off of. Side point, if for some reason after you select USB storage, uh, you continue through this process and instead of installing Windows, it just goes right to your desktop and kind of ignores what you just said. Um, there will be a link below in the description on how to install Windows that way because you will have to bail on this, go inside and change some settings in BIOS. So there will be another link on how to install Windows 10 if you cannot change the boot order to a USB. Uh, so check that out. However, if you're like me and you selected USB and you got this screen, th th then you're good. Uh, so we'll take you from here. So Windows setup, English, English, keyboard method US. So change it to reflect what, what you need and then install now. So this is kind of a lengthy process. I'll, I'll keep the video running through this um, and I'll figure out later what parts I'll, I want to speed up. Uh, but this could take a while as far as installing Windows, depending on what processor you got, depending on how fast your computer is. Um, but I'll keep the video running all the way through, um, getting it installed until we reach your desktop. So accepting terms and conditions, next. Uh, you want to do the bottom one, a custom install Windows only, advanced. So you're doing advanced stuff now, you're a techie. So in this screen, I only see two partitions. You may see several more depending on the state of your computer. The idea is, here is to select each one and, and delete it. So use your mouse, pick out one of these, scroll down here to delete, hit delete, confirm that you want to delete it. Okay, so that one's gone. Now there's another partition here. So delete, confirm. So however many you have to delete, this is where you want to end up. Whether you have to delete one, two, or six, you want to end up here. Nothing but unallocated space showing, and the size should reflect somewhere near uh, the size of your hard drive or your solid state drive. So once you get to unallocated space and you've deleted everything else, hit next. And now this will start copying some files over, getting you ready to install Windows. So again, I'll, I'll let the video run. Uh, after I get this video done, I'll figure out which sections I want to fast forward to save you time. Uh, but this is a good time to just pause it and then start your install process and, and, and catch up to this point. Okay, I'm going to mute that for us. Basically, uh, we've reached the point where we can install Windows now. Uh, this is just an, an audio that's letting us know how it's going to walk us through the process. Um, if you want, you can leave yours on. You can also avoid activate yes or no commands if your computer has a microphone. Uh, so I'll walk you through these steps, show you what I do. 
So our first option is coming up. So starting with your region, select your region, hit yes. Choose your keyboard layout, hit yes. I don't need a second keyboard layout. If, if you do, then go ahead, I'm gonna hit skip. Okay, now this is a key point. If you connect to a Wi-Fi network right now, uh, that will assist in, in the starting of, of Windows. Uh, however, you will be prompted to set up or log into a Microsoft account. If you don't want to do that, if, if you're like me, I don't like being pressured into signing up with something I don't want to sign up with. Um, if you select a network right now, it won't let you bypass that option in, in a few minutes. Uh, so the way around that is to click down here, I don't have internet, and then proceed with the install without it. That way it won't prompt you for that Microsoft account. And then it again, asks you to connect to the internet, but I'm gonna hit continue with limited setup. Uh, I'm gonna name this PC Dell, because it's a Dell, you can name it whatever you want. Hit next. I don't want a password, so I'm gonna hit next to skip it. So what we've done there is we've bypassed, oh, so I don't wanna send them any activity history. I don't like providing companies with free information about me. I'm gonna hit no. Again, I'm, I'm gonna decline this. You can accept all of these, it, it, it's personal preference, I just don't like doing it. Same thing here, uh, diagnostic data, tailored experience, I don't like giving companies free info about me. So I'm just gonna go select all these things to off. I, again, that's personal preference, you can do whatever you want. So now it's just gonna install Windows. At, at this point, make sure you remove your USB, your install USB from your computer, because sometimes in this process the computer needs to restart and if it restarts, remember we selected booting off our USB. So if the computer restarts at this point, there's a chance it could try to reboot off our install media and start the whole install process all over again, which we don't want. So make sure you remove your USB. And then from here, it'll continue setting up. Okay, so here we are, we're at your Windows, your desktop. You've successfully ins installed Windows 10. Uh, just as a, as a side note, right now, it, it would be good to run your updates to make sure that this process is all set and, and you run your updates. Uh, so for help with your updates, check down below in, in the description, there'll be a video how to update Windows 10 uh, that could take a while, seeing as how it's a fresh version, uh, but you definitely wanna get that done to make sure all your drivers are updated, your security updates are through, and everything else. So uh, if this was helpful, please like and share. Um, if you have any questions, if you got lost at anything, if, any, if something didn't work quite right, let me know in a comment if the frequently asked question doesn't help, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, and subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thank you so much for watching.